And finally, from us tonight, the speculation that newspapers are dying started even before the economic collapse. Then the layoffs followed. Now, many journalists have had to reinvent themselves using the World Wide Web. Marlene Peralta found one such journalist turned web entrepreneur in Queens. Él te recibe sin problema. Y tú ya como conoces el ambiente, sabes qué esperas ahí. Javier Castaño is one of the many journalists trying to relaunch their careers in these tough economic times. Pretty soon I'm not going to have friends who have a job because if you see Univision and you see Telemundo and you see what happened in, 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 in the print media and the magazines, everybody is just getting uh, the uh, layoff and that's terrible. So I have to figure out how to do something by my own because I don't want to be hired for a company for a few months or a few years and then start again. To that end, the veteran journalist who worked for El Diario La Prensa in Hoy, Nueva York, launched QueensLatino.com in May. QueensLatino.com is local because the growing of the media is going to be local and is based on the understanding of the Latino community. I understand the Latino community. I know the smell of the project. I know how people behave in, in our communities, in our houses. Independent media expert Avi Sher says that journalists in ethnic media are especially prepared to make the leap from reporter to publisher. And especially when you work in the independent press and the ethnic press, you tend to be a generalist. You know how to do everything. So you are very well trained for setting up a new enterprise. Um, so there's always a lot of ferment and um, entrepreneurship. However, Cher warns about the challenges journalists turned business owners like Castaño may encounter. The medium and small business owners are major advertisers in uh, ethnic and community papers. So um, if they're not getting loans because of the freeze in the fi financial markets and banks are ignoring them, they're not able to expand, they're not able to invest, and uh, that makes it a very difficult time to launch a new publication. Castaño is well aware of the financial difficulties a publication like his can face. When you go outside in the, in the Latino community and you ask a restaurant or, or, or a boutique to advertise in a digital uh, media, they don't even know uh, what, what we are talking about. So it, it's tough, but it's getting there. And, uh, but that's why my, my business model includes the print edition that is monthly and also the digital version, which I upload every single day. The one thing Castaño says he's short of is that operating a low-budget publication doesn't mean you can't make headlines. And I prove it. My website is only two weeks old. And I, and I have the exclusive of, of the Spice story. So that's very important. That is a strong. People are following me because of that. Castaño says the spy story highlights why some mainstream media's efforts to approach ethnic communities are falling short. He thinks it's because they often overlook the ethnic faces in these stories. If you see the Anglo media, what they are following is this uh, beautiful Russian model uh, Anna uh, Chapman. They don't even care about uh, the Latino reporter or columnist from El Diario La Prensa. They even misspell her name and the name of, of her husband. His goal is to empower the community and keep Latino stories in the news. Although the print edition is monthly for now, he hopes for a weekly edition in the future. And the goal is to serve the community better. The goal is to uh, uh, help those Latino out there to understand the city and the power of the city better, and even to connect to the world, because the internet can do that. For Independent Sources, I am Marlene Peralta.